Yo, hi guys. So I've got a little care package from ITS, which is down here. Adam's gonna wait. Uh, excuse me, phone. He's, he's on his phone and eating Mary Lands. Uh, I've already opened this because I wanted to have a quick look. But Adam can open this on here. I've not opened this yet. So this is gonna be a foldable table because we've seen loads of guys using them. And to be fair, we did a, a dual fuse board change the other day. Everything's on the floor. My back's starting to hurt again. And I am sick of bending over and cutting stuff on the floor, picking stuff up. So. It's a Stanley one. They've sent some Bosch stuff over for us to have a look at. So, go on, Adam. Do, do the box. Do the box first. Seems I've already opened it. Oh, we got. We got. We got. Mini circular saw. Nice. Twelve volt. Should get that out and yeah. Show it off. Wait, what's it come with? No, yeah, it's just the bare unit. No, what are they? Uh, they're sliders and guides. Oh. Uh, then. What's he got? Uh, oh, it's a set, so it's a combi and a 12 volt impact. Open it up, mate. 12 volt. Open it up. Yeah, it's oh, got some tape on. Good little back. That's nice, isn't it? Look at this. Delicious. You ready? Do it. They've already seen that one, haven't they? You haven't seen this one. Oh! So I did a little surprise last night because I knew what they were. Mm. I, so I charged all the batteries. And they're all yours now. Sweet. So uh, at least you've got your own little set in the van. Just We just need to keep on char top of charging because we've only got two of these chargers. Yeah. Um, but yeah, abs now. So you've got your own little combi, a little impact and uh, a little circular saw for all the rewires we do. You're welcome. And uh, we'll open this one up now. I have wanted one of these for so long. I've just never found the right one. Out of all the expensive things you buy, this is probably the least expensive. Yeah, fact. <laughs> and you've wanted it for ages. <laughs> right, I don't know how it opens. Does this one do that? No, that's just a, that's just <laughs> just a carry strap. <laughs> Should we read the instructions? Nah, we Something don't need to do instructions. With the really. Try me. Any instructions? No. Yeah, it's got to be something to do with that. Mm, stand it up. Well, I'm like... What does it say? Oh yeah, two it's, seconds. See, there is instructions. What are the instructions? One second. Stand it up. Oh, press and pull. There's a push button. You pull that handle up. You actually need more strength than a four-year-old child, so Adam might struggle here. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. Go on, sit on it. Nice. Pretty sturdy. Careful. Yeah. Careful self. That's going to come in handy. Obviously, oh, it just folds flat. Holes. Yeah, because you can drill through the table. Nice. Right. Oh, cool. Very useful. You'll see that in loads of videos now. 455 uh, kg. It'll take you your weight as well, mate. So I'm actually looking for a new apprentice at the moment. So if anyone's interested, let me know below because I've just lost mine. Uh, so ITS have got the Black Friday. This, the whole reason for this is they've got the Black Friday um, sale on at the moment. That's very bright on my face. Uh, it's coming from the 5th of November all the way through. It's on for four or five weeks potentially. There'll be an end date at some point, but I'll put that below. Click the link below. ITS have over 21,000 five, five star trust pilot reviews, Adam. Did you know that? No. And if you order before 7 p.m., you get an next day delivery. And they will also be competitive on prices and price match stuff from Toolstation, Screwfix, B&Q, all that sort of stuff as well. So uh, I'll put the link below. Go and check it out. There's loads and loads of new offers and deals in there. And they're actually coming on every Friday. There's sort of like a new deal section on the website. So go click the link, check it out. Have a look at these goodies, and uh, we'll have a go with that, but I actually well recommend that, and I don't think that was too expensive either. So, uh, yeah, sound, let's get on with the video. Yo, morning, right. First of all, from the last video, I understand that the big microphone I've got on the top when I do this, it's in shot, so apologies, but if you want good sound quality, you have to deal with the little thing at the top. Uh, sick notes here. Don't feel very well. It's a good thing about being self-employed. Come to work with me. I'll get him climbing through the lofts in a little bit. But you, he has chose the worst day of the year to come because it's freezing. So, uh, yeah, mate, bit of warmth for you. Where's the button? 
There you go. Bet you feel better already, don't you? That's blinding. What's the code we're using for uh, the uni light stuff, mate? Is it Bundy 25? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Good lads. Nice. 25% discount for uni lights. Yeah. <laughs> uh, kitchen's done. This is all jumping on from yesterday. This is sort of, this is the Thursday. John and Adam are here taking down light fitting, switches, pull cords. They're going to be doing upstairs lighting. There's a few boxes to left to screw in and also a few things left to cap. Just bare cables from yesterday, which John's got here. Uh, they're going to do upstairs. Adam's going to go in the loft. You're going to be down here feeding. Adam will run through the process with you about sticking rods up. and You've seen the stuff anyway, the video. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I'm going to do the harder one, downstairs lighting by myself. Actually, no, I've got help now. And, uh, Look at this. So what happens? Uh, I've got to do the two way, and while we're doing it as well, while I'm running the downstairs line circuit, I will also be doing the smoke alarm feed. So we're gonna have heat alarm in the kitchen, smoke alarm here on the downstairs, and then smoke alarm up on the upstairs, all interlinked, mains powered. Unit lights are charged from yesterday. Adam's gonna be using the lantern up in the loft at some point. I'll be using the big boy. Oh, we've got Andrew's lying around now. So I'm gonna let the lads carry on cap in and putting a few boxes on. Is there any in here? Yeah. Oh, they're all to do in here, yeah. And uh, I'll start with some lighting. Right, we've got 1.5 mil on the drum. We're gonna do our first feed, which is here. Drop that down to the fuse board. I'm gonna run around and I'm gonna do all the loop drops first. So it'll come from here, go across the lounge, then across to the dining room. Dining room, then the lounge, then through to the kitchen. It's only the four lights down here. And then from that, I will be doing the switch drops, we'll be using three cores so we can run a neutral. A lot of the guys asked me about the sand batch job, the big job, why didn't I run the loop in loop out to the switches. Most of the time it's because I didn't want to run three cables down to each switch, especially when we had four way intermediate lighting, there would have been a lot of cables. Uh, so that's the reason. If it would have been a stud work everywhere, yeah it would have been dead easy. But really there was only two stud work light fitting drops compared to how many rooms were there. 18 so that's the reason why but we'll pull this up and i'll just sort of bring the process around but there's not a lot i can do with him making noise him watching fortnite wherever he is eating his lunch already at, you like me you're eating your lunch already at not even nine o'clock i'm hungry we're always hungry mate so this is the carnage what you get when there's three people working in the same vicinity the floorboards up make sure you don't fall down to your demise me making noise. You making noise constantly. There's my feed into the board. This is my loop. So we're going to come across into here. Come across into this void. I will then cut up the floorboard I need and we'll make sure we're clipping it along so we're not getting any sagging and any cables drooping down onto any roofs. In theory, this one here should be my board. My, my light fitting should be here. There's the cable, we'll bring it across the holes we've already cut out, bring it here, allow me to get a nice clip here, and then a nice clip there. And then really, Adam, uh, we can either go back, because we need to go into this room, we carry straight on, we'll take it across the holes over there. There's a hole through the wall over there, isn't there, to pass it through to the other room, in that corner? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. So, I'll take it over there. Circular saw. So it's the depth of the moment tongue and groove. We'll whiz it across and then we'll set the depth and then we'll just cut it either side. Make sure you mind the nails because these nails are absolutely massive. These are actually for flex, but they fit really nicely uh, around. That ain't going anywhere. That one's there. We've got one there that's pulled nice and taut here. We'd always leave a little bit of slack that can be pulled up and pulled down. That loop's done now, so I'm going to feed it up that way, bring it across through the wall, measure out, take the floorboard up exactly like I've done here. But you can see how neat it was. If you get the right depth and the right cut, there's no, you don't need to get a jimmy bar, crowbar, or anything. I'm going to put some nice screws in that and it'd be uh, nice and neat, so good job, good job Bosch. 
through there. So I'll meet you through to the other side. We'll do the same thing as and where we pull the cable. Like a lot of people with this cable here would have just done this on the angle. But we've left the loop across to come here. This allows, like if anything ever needs to be moved and changed, you've got a good foot there to play with. Pull through and they'll be clipped again through that way. For the switch jobs, we're using three core. The reason for three core is so we can bring you a neutral to it. So you'll have your common, your switch live. We'll bring a neutral. This will allow future expansion of smart switches or anything like that. From the light switch, uh, this just saves us having to do a loop in, loop out of each light switch to bring a neutral. The last thing I've got to do is the switch drops and then just put some 1.5 mil in for the lights. And Adam and John are nearly done with all the sockets and switches and capping and everything like that. Then I'm going to start seeing if we can get the cables down because in here, from the last videos, we've got a lot of metal conduit all in the walls. So I'm going to try and find them up above in each room. Well, to be fair, this one is just a shared one. That would be a double gang switch for the lounge and the dining room. One more thing I wanted to mention as well is, obviously I'm mates with Jimmy from Plumber Parts, hence you've seen a few videos recently. And Jimmy does a sort of weekly thing, Plumbing Disasters, on his Instagram and YouTube. But what I thought, none of us really, electricians wise, do any electricians disasters. So I'm gonna set up an email address, which I'll put in the link below uh, for you guys. Take some pictures of some shoddy work, give some background on it obviously link your uh, Instagram and all that sort of stuff that you can a bit of background uh, if you want to send some videos send some videos if you can pick out the regulations of why this install is not very good or not up to regs drop it in there I'm going to try and do a weekly if not two weekly uh, video on electrical disasters um, and if all the stuff that you send in I'll obviously put your links to uh, and say thank you for it so uh, yeah it's just a little idea but let me know below if it's a good idea just come in here with the uh, conduit drops we've just pulled the old cable out it's going to be great i've got to bring two cables because this is a two-way with the lights uh downstairs and upstairs i need to bring a three core down here because i want to bring a neutral down for the land uh, for the hallway light but equally i need to do a two core and a three core for the two-way switching on the landing because there's two uh conduit drops here nice and smooth there you go, mate. we'll just use existing roots which one nice and easy and hopefully the conduit is thick enough I think that's okay. should have done this to start with yeah if you just kink if you measure out roughly what you've got leave it a bit more push it up that's up there we have to reach that we'll pull that that'll literally just go to the light fin here and then we'll bring a three corner two core up for the two way and we'll continue our conduit down and knock a bit more of this wood out and it should sit and that's all within zone so job's good and so old coal, this is the one that wants to be an electrician but doesn't like spiders, is that correct? Yeah. Yeah, he's terrified. He just asked me what's going on here, because we've just run the three core in from the switch here. So one this cable here yeah. goes straight to the fuse board. Yeah. That will bring you a live neutral and earth. Mm -hmm. Okay? To here. Yeah. This cable here mm -hmm. is going to the next light. So these cables get linked together through. So it loops and loops out, okay? That's why we're saying it's called a loop. Mm -hmm. This one, ignore that there's loads of cables in it. Mm -hmm. What will happen is one of the cables will be on the live, the brown, mm -hmm. that'll bring power down to here. Yeah. And then the other cable, let's say the gray one in there, yeah. when you turn that switch, mm -hmm. it will then bring power through to the gray one, mm -hmm. bring it all the way back up here, mm -hmm. which the bulb will be attached to. So that's how the switch works. You're physically breaking the circuit. So when you turn that, that works, and then intermediate lighting. Do you want to know about intermediate lighting? When you've got three switches on one? Adam still doesn't get it, so it's fine. But yeah, that's the basics of lighting. Um, and then obviously I'll show you down lights a little bit. Okay, Sound. There you go. Sign them up. Get them on college course with Adam. So that's now done. Cole, just have a mooch at that. So we've slipped the plastic conduit over the metal so stuff can be slipped through. I'm just going to help Adam out for a sec while I'm here and run a lighting feed upstairs because this is going to sit in the same chase as the two-way lighting on the landing uh, i made a mistake earlier i only needed two three core cables here because the one on the landing will have a three core and a two core for the two-way switching so i'll run this up and adam wants me to go look at something in the loft so joy boys draw on your cables so this is the up lighting feed
Now, while we're here, we might as well run that cable just hit me in the testicles. Uh, the smoke alarm feed. So we'll be taking a 1.5 mil two core in earth across to the main one. Probably then straight to through to the heat alarm because it's like just next to it, and then we'll come back and then we'll come up the original chase as well. So the full chase that it does the upstairs line feed will also take the linked cable for the smoke alarms. Uh, hopefully it'll all fit in the same uh, chase, but we'll find out. Where are we call? Yeah. Oh, Colt, tell everyone why you want to be an electrician. Turn the camera around. Go on, do be a vlogger. Why well, I want to be an electrician? I'll hit up like this, look. There you go. What, like that? Yeah. All right. Um. What did you want to do originally before you changed your mind? Don't know. Don't really see. YouTuber, think. wasn't it? That's Don't know. Nice. Probably streaming. YouTube gamer. Streamer. Yeah, Twitch yeah, streamer. Probably, yeah. yeah. And now, what made you want to be an electrician? Because you own fat stacks. <sighs> to all the older guys out there, fat stacks means what? Money. Lots of money. Yeah. So it's not because we all have an enjoyment of it or yeah. it'd be nice to do you know stuff in the family it's just we earn fat stacks but at least you got one thing right better than plumbers though isn't it Carl? yeah no one wants to be a stinky plumber no i want to be electrician, electrician. Yeah. living the dream here lads sit where's your ppe yes mate right so i'm up in the loft uh i've got my mask on as you can probably hear um so this is where all our cables have come off just on the side of this water here um, that's the smoke alarm that's the landing light and then here's both the switch drops which are in the old steel conduit which we are reusing so that's just down there below bottom of the screen top of the screen you can see the cables meeting in the corner like a corner of a square that is the um, pendant in the little bedroom and then the loop cable is ran all the way across to the uh, the pendant, and then the switch switch free core is ran all the way across. So this loft's quite good for clipping cables, as they're all long joists. So uh, joists running the, the right way and the nice long runs. So. So how old do you feel now? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it looked very ill. But did you have a test, an exam today? No. Football, rugby. No. Were you really ill? Because I used to do this with my dad. I'd say I was ill because I had something coming up and go, oh, no, 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 well, he'd take me to work and then all of a sudden I'm painting walls. We're going to do the bathroom now. I'm not doing the bathroom. What's this called? It's the kitchen. Yeah. We're going to do the kitchen now. Uh, the feed's in. It's the last one on the circuit. So you've got feed in, live neutral earth. You've got three core, which is our switch cable. And then we're going to do uh, our links. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. To so the guys that haven't seen the previous video, uh, the ceiling has been overboarded to be using the battens above because it was cladded like here. So they're just going to screw the new boards, probably 9mm boards to the ceiling. Uh, so we've drilled, we, we did it as well. I drilled 4 inch holes in the ceiling there which allow us, if the measurements are ever so slightly off because the walls are being dabbed out, that we've got wiggle room for the light going straight up, the cans going into the ceiling. So. I'll go up and probably leave you down. I might as well use you if you're not that poorly. Just don't. When I've learned this now, if you're ever working below a hole in the ceiling like that, don't stand underneath it with your mouth open or your eyes because you just get this dust in it. I'm telling you that because I still do it now. And I did it earlier with Adam in the loft hatch. I was like, Adam, are you alright? Anyway. So I'm just going to link over, start with. Our last light, annoyingly, our last light is here. The joists run this way, and we have a board up on the far side. So we're going to rod up, do a link to each light, and then we will then each one of the two will have a link, and then we'll link through from this one as well over to the centre, and this one will then have a link over. So they're all connected in a radial circuit. In some Maryland. What's the best biscuit in the world, Carl? Maryland. That's right. You can have a job when you're older. Adam and John, I'm just running the 10 mil in to the water. Sorry, mum. Water. And um, me and Carl going to tidy up. Get all the bits together. Put it on the kitchen. The lads are just going to start putting the boards down. They're not going to screw anything down because the plumber's in soon. Yes, we got first. Uh, so we're just going to help him out, point his fixing stuff down. Look at this. 
Whoa. Nick can use a hoover and a brush. Somebody taught me. What we're gonna do with this, snip these off a little bit, bend them over like I've said before, make it a bit easier for the plasterer. This is all tidy. Adam and Cole are working together. Adam's using his wisdom. They're just stripping out the utility. Working hard, mate, yeah? Yeah, mate. Cole, what are you doing? What? What are you doing? Screwing. Well, unscrewing. Unscrewing. Good lad. Good lad. And then John's just put down the floorboards up together. I find it very strange, and John will understand this when he watches the video, that obviously he's doing work experience. He gets to gain some experience off us. But this is his house, and he keeps coming to me going, what do you want me to do next? <laughs> Very bizarre, but he's, he's cracking on, he's working hard. It'd be a good electrician one day. He's just like Adam making loads of noise above me. I'm just in room per room, emptying all the stuff off, charge a few of the lights up, and uh, this is our fees of what we've got. Ring mains, cooker, bonding, uh, upstairs, downstairs, sockets, upstairs, downstairs, lights. So I'll put them all together out of the way. We're going to put some big trunk in, the board is going to go here at some point. Uh, rip all this off, there's an ISO being fitted. Yeah, there's a Henley blocking at the moment, there's an ISO being fitted by the DNO. So it will all be ready for us at some point once the plaster is in. Get all this done, anything I need to do, which I nearly forgot, was measurements for the down lights in the kitchen. Go on, big wipes to rescue. Not, come, not, doing the, not cutting it. They need you on the trade shows, don't they? Yeah, it's not what, coming off. What is it? Uh, Cable juices. Don't know, but look, it's uh, took my fingerprint. Well, yeah. Oh, nice. Uh, you're not ill. You're never having a day off school again. But you've done well, so thank you. We're here now. We're done. Oh, let's do this way. It's nice and bright. We're done first fix now. Literally come back tomorrow for an hour or two just to first fix the garage. And uh, yeah, thanks, mate. Thanks for all your help. Yeah. Even though it's your house and it's you're been, paying me, it's, it's been good. <laughs> um, Adam, anything to add? What's the meaning of life again? What's that? What's the meaning of life? Maryland. Maryland seems to say the same. Right, catch you a bit. Take care now. Bye bye then. Are you going to say it? What? Bye. Bye.